Hey everybody, it's Keith and Connor from the Mean Boys Podcast. How we do, baby booze? Uh, thank you for checking out this episode. Uh, no outside guests this week. We're just hanging out with the boys and uh, Tom Goss. Uh, in the beginning of the show, we're going to drop a very special announcement about some uh, some shit we've been cooking for a while. But Patreon. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we have live shows coming up July 21st in San Diego for Comic-Con at the Comedy Palace and July 23rd at a Denny's in Fresno, California. Yes, really? Yeah. Uh, most notably uh, as the slightly better Bakersfield. Uh, that's how you may know Fresno. Uh, other than that, please take a second to review us on iTunes. Uh, very, very easy. It takes a few moments and helps us. I just want to have more iTunes reviews than the podcast of my many enemies, and uh, you guys are making that happen. Uh, this review comes to us from Bill Dithers, uh, who writes, They use the C word a lot and don't know when to let a joke die. We sure do, and we sure don't. Was Thanks, that a Bill. five-star review? It was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, other than that, this is just me, Keith, and Tom. We're playing some Tom Tomperty. We got some sketches. Uh, it's going to be a big, stupid episode, and we hope you like it. Hey everybody, welcome to the Mean Boys Podcast. Every baby you've ever met will one day die afraid. I'm Keith Carey. I'm Tom Goss. And I'm Baby Dick Baby Driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Baby Dick Driver Squared. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I I don't want to see that movie because it's just going to give me hope for an alternate universe where I am cool. You know? it, it is literally just watching Cool Connor. <laughs> yeah. and It's I'm like, like, oh, Connor, but if you could dance and fuck a little bit. <laughs> I can do both of those things, kind of. <laughs> this dude drives cars real well. You have totaled several cars cars that your parents gave you. <laughs> you. You should see the way I back out of this driveway. It's kind I of have. impressive. I've seen, it's not as impressive as how you pull into it and hit the driveway. That, that movie's like... It happened drive, once and it wasn't like, my car. The the main character's premature or something? <laughs> yes, it's about a yeah, two-pound baby it's, it's that exact, looks exactly like me. That, it, yeah, it, it looks shockingly like... And also, he also... It. I keep calling Baby Driver It. He kind of dances like you, too, which is weird. Oh, really? Like, yeah. it by he stands up against the corner of the wall and checks Twitter? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I know you dance. Uh, I can dance. You like dance. I, like yeah. I, I'll cut a rug every once in a while if it's very necessary. <laughs> like, like with your foot? What do you mean cut a rug? Cut a rug is a, is a, is a way of saying dancing. Explain to me your earth slang. <laughs> <laughs> if you're cutting rugs, you, you better be moving something heavy that might damage the interior of your car. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, cutting the rug, is that like a violent lesbian? <laughs> isn't that like when you yeah. fought and some hair comes out? <laughs> Oh my God, Jesus! Tom, you really cut the rug on that one. I got to <laughs> No, yeah, because everyone like as, I, the, um, I should I should have started counting, but people on Facebook are just like, "I love Conor McSpadden and Baby Driver," and then I posted the joke and it got like 140 likes just to get it fucking out of the way. So I was like, "I don't want to listen to it," and it continues to pour in. If it makes you feel any better, you got ha ha. You look like that sexy boy in that movie about fast cars. I get Chaz Bono. <laughs> oh, okay. So, which, so, what's so sad about that is still, it's like if you're gonna be cruel, at least be like contemporarily cruel. I, you know, I get a lot of <laughs> objects. <laughs> <laughs> what object do you get compared to most? I mean, you guys. Well, I guess animals aren't objects, but then it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Peter? How do you like the show? Bold new uh, fucking slogan. Hey, I don't need animals. animals. Aren't objects? <laughs> hey, that's a positive thing to say. Okay? It's a terrible Smiths album. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know. All of them. <laughs> so Take that more. What Let's animal see. do you compare it to? I'm, I'm guessing badger. Didn't you? Yeah, you guys compared me to one today. Any didn't? like subterranean well, badgers are, mammal? Are, are, badgers, badgers are really persistent and hairy and like hunchy. You know. Yeah. I love the British badger, badger, or is it the English badger? The European badger is chill <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> Keith, I think Keith's 100 percent a raccoon. Yeah, I think that because he's very, he's very like you know adaptable. Uh, I love ad- adaptable, but in an unflattering way, you yeah, know. But I have like this, the cute little band. But I mean, ass. little rats survived the fucking. Uh, I'm like you know, for sure poison, poisonous and dangerous, yet inexplicably likable. Yeah, I met a, I met a guy on stage last night who met his girlfriend at a party boat where he was dressed like a raccoon, and I was like, <laughs> this is the most cute. What animal would oh, like I a be? Furry? Because this is a. T- I don't know if we talked about this. You're. I, I feel like you're. You're meerkat. embryonic, kind of. Oh, yeah, mirky, yeah. You're sort of like lanky, just hanging in the back and just sort of observing and kind of sniping. Yeah, I mean, I'm either that or I'm, e- I'm one of those like shoplifting monkeys in China that have like gangs and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like the loner <laughs> one that smokes cigarettes and, you know, <laughs> just like broods while he eats a papaya. <laughs> I've gotten yeah. panda bear a lot. Bears in general. Okay, yeah, we're, well, we're bear adjacent. You, oh my god, Tom looks like young Zangi from Street Fighter. Uh, <laughs> it's important to note that it is uh, 95,000 degrees in the studio, so we are all recording shirtless. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 and pantsless. 
<laughs> I've never seen three just such wet men. Oh yeah, we're it's a, incredibly moist in hey, here. We're like porpoises now. Am I right? Am I? Am I right? Am well, I, am speaking I right? of porpoises, uh, well, let's well, get on to the watch, porpoise of this announcement. Watch this segue. Speaking of wet, you're all going to be wet when you hear this exciting announcement. Like a porpoise. <laughs> God damn it, Tom! Oh, shut your blowhole over there! Yeah, you fucking fisherman. Oh, I forgot you're a dolphin one. for a golfing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put a golf ball in your mouth like that episode of Seinfeld. Oh. <laughs> We're starting a fucking Patreon, everybody. Hell okay, yeah, dude. Yeah, uh, look, we and when we started this podcast, we're all like, "Oh man, I don't want to start a shitty podcast." There's nothing more embarrassing than having a shitty podcast, and we've been talking about it for a while. And they're like, "There's nothing more embarrassing than starting a shitty Patreon." <laughs> but you know what? Our shit, our, 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 I think we have the most successful, unsuccessful podcast, and <laughs> I think. You have one job, and you just reacted to it like you got electrocuted, you dumb I, I, I Wait, did you activate that sound effect, or was that just the computer breaking? No, or or is that just... To, I meant to press the... Uh, no, no, this... <laughs> Okay, there's not. I'm like, this is, there's Tom, enough. Tom, shut up. <laughs> there's so much fat idiot sweat in your laptop, it's malfunctioning. This is, this is the lead into us saying we're responsible professionals and you should give us money. Yeah, you don't want to invest in this operation, <laughs> listeners? Why not? I was trying to hype it up with the do do do. Well, you sure did. Never do anything again. You Fuck are in. Put mittens on and duct tape them to your <laughs> fucking waist, you. Mongoloid. Oh, so I am going to safety pin a note to your shirt so your mom will have to deal with this. Do you understand? I'm very cross with you right now, young man. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, everyone breathe. Yeah, fuck. We are, we are starting... This could not have gone better or worse. <laughs> we are starting a Patreon. We, uh, we love making this show for you guys. Uh, we've been making it for free. We love making it for free. But uh, Daddy owes a lot of money to a lot of powerful yeah. people. No, I'm <laughs> Straight up, we, we, we want to be able to do more cool shit. We want to make more show. We want to have merch. We want to be able to do more live shows. Uh, and basically, so, so basically, I mean, yeah, it's just all, it kind of goes with the Mean Boys war chest, you know, which is, yeah. and you know, not much of it really is going to be pocket money for us, so much of it is going to be, you know, enabling us to invest in the cool shit we want to do, more like video stuff. Like a working stuff. soundboard. Yeah, yeah. Or, or like a real, uh, you know, guy. co-host. Yeah, yeah, the operation that turns Tom into a real boy. Like, yeah, we got to get that crayon removed from his brain, and uh, we've just been putting it off and putting it off. Uh, GoFundMe declined us for plagiarism. I don't understand how that happened. <laughs> but no, yeah, so there's there's different tiers like there always are. There are different fun rewards, of course. Uh, for, a, for a scant five bucks a month, uh, this is the main one. You get access to the bonus content. So every week we're basically going to do a whole extra segment of the show that you can only get if you give us your fucking money. Yeah, and we'll do fun stuff. You guys suggest things, we'll do it. It'll be... You know, a lot of weird, wacky shit. We already have some stuff planned. That, yeah. Uh, so we're, we're, Some we're, of it is stuff some of you have been asking for for a while, so uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. So you, there will be some Mystery Tom Theater 3000, yeah, where he's commenting on yeah, movies. There, there may be some Jaws, Which, uh, by the some way, Jaws I, footage. I saw that show. It was a dumb show. I couldn't get into it. It, 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 I wanted to like it. All right. Well, we I might have already reached out to several of the cast members to be on this show, so maybe shut up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. You know, you know okay. that show that's made Can by we... a bunch of people you're kind of friends with? Can we... Oh, I didn't know that. Can we edit that out? <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> Staying in. You don't have to like everything everyone does. And I, I'm sure there are people that I respect that think Meme Boys is fucking stupid. I don't care. Yeah, anymore. us. <laughs> Yeah, it just wasn't. It wasn't for me. Well, anyway, it, uh, instead of tearing down a show that has the most successful crowd, <laughs> time, let's focus on ours. That's going to raise thirty. And you know who else I hate? Joe Rogan and Mark Maron. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> and fuck yeah. that new Apple guy. Fuck veterans. Fuck sick kids. Fuck dogs. Fuck the concept of humor as applied to the joke format. <laughs> fuck games. Uh, fuck sounds. <laughs> No, uh, but yeah, the, that's the the basic five dollar tier. You're gonna get access to all that bonus content. Uh, if you go into the ten dollar tier, uh, you're getting uh, yourself a goodie bag, folks. Yeah, gonna we're gonna happen. be making uh, new stickers and buttons and weird shit like that every month. No, so, uh, some of these designs have been teased, uh, you know, up on the Twitter or whatever because we I'm doing dumb photoshops, but we stackpiled a lot of them. There's some. Just fun, kind of inside ones. There are ones that are kind of more for everybody. We got some Mark Malloy Anime Emporium stickers coming out, some Tom Goss Barack Obama Hope stickers. <laughs> so just a bunch of dumb shit like that. You know, for ten bucks a month, uh, you'll you'll get some of that shit sent to your door. Some wristbands, some fuck everything, guys. Says wristbands are in the works. So, yeah, yeah, uh, and you'll you'll be appraised of what all that is and what's going on there. <clears throat> so I mean, that'll be fun. 
Yeah. So if you go to the $25 uh, thing, we're going to let you become pen, pa- pen, pen pals. Pen pals. Pen pals. Pen pals with the mean boys. And we will also absolve all your sins, and you'll uh, enter Omega Level 8 or whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's really it's starting to feel a lot more cult-like. You know, just like shirtless, sweaty men in a room full of satanic memorabilia <laughs> telling you about how much money they need. Like, yeah, look, uh, wait, for $25, we'll scream at your child until their soul is clean. We'll get you some of the matching sneakers you'll need to go on to the spaceship heaven. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, what else do we have here? For 25 bucks, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, write you handwritten letters from all of us. Uh, and by the way, if you, if you get a goodie bag, we'll write you a little handwritten note, but I'm not going to fucking get into detail addressing your various mental problems. You know, <laughs> if you want that, I'm going to need another $15, dear listener. Uh, uh, the $50 one's where it gets pretty fun. Uh, we're going to be doing the T-shirt of the month club because you guys have actually been super stoked on the shirts that we've done so far. I'm always flabbergasted, like, knowing how many people there are walking yeah. around with Fuck Everything God is Dead shirts. They can really only wear to, I guess, like... Our shows. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. It's uh, your laundry day shirt. and like Well, we're going to be making one every month. Uh, some of of which will be less offensive than that, and some, I'm sure, will inexplicably be more offensive. Oh, yeah. And we, again, we have many designs stockpiled, and they will uh, they will come uh, to light uh, shockingly soon. Yeah. Uh, and then our top tier for a $100 a month donation, not only do you get all that other shit and free access to any live show we ever do, you can also be on the fucking Mean Boys podcast. That's right. I will figure out how to Skype you in. Yeah. And uh, you can come. You can be a Mean Boy for a day. If you live close, maybe we'll bring you here. We'll just, like, blindfold you first and throw you in the back of a van. <laughs> you don't know where you, we live. Yeah, you'll get the whole experience. <laughs> but, yeah, we have uh, all this stuff is going to be up on the Patreon. It'll be linked in the show notes. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and, yeah, it's just, look, it's uh, help us make the show you like. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's ultimately what it is. If you guys, I would love to like get to a point where we could outsource some of this stuff and be able to do it twice a week. And like, I, I'm bummed that we can't do the show more. I just don't have enough time. Like, I do all the technical stuff. We all write all the shit. And it's like incredibly time consuming to make 45 minutes. Yeah, of and we're not complaining. We love doing it. I do. Anything. It's my favorite that, thing I've ever done. Yeah, frankly, I want this to be our like our biggest thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do. yeah. So if you guys can donate anything, we'd greatly appreciate it. If not... Uh, go fuck yourself. No, I'm kidding. No, we, we still love you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and but anybody who listens, and look, no one knows what it's like to not have money more than us. Okay. Truly. <laughs> truly. We frequently have to lend each other amounts of money that are that are like less than what a kid gets for his allowance. We're in a haunting reality right now where of the three people at this table, Tom might be the most financially stable. <laughs> yeah. I, last night, I napped that, in my car outside accurate. of Denny's, and I had $16 in my bank account. So <laughs> this is not some like Rothschild operation. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So uh, we're not going to bug you too much with trying to bum money off you. But, but yeah, if you can help, uh, please do. Uh, we're excited to grow this fucking operation, uh, and we have a lot of... Really, really cool stuff coming up in the future. Uh, and just the the last announcement before we just get back to the show. Uh, fucking, we got two live shows coming up. Comic-Con, Fresno. Ticket links will be in the show notes on the Eventbrite page. Yes. And uh, the response to those has been overwhelmingly existing. Like, yeah. I, I thought it was going to be like one dude that we already know down there. But yeah, it's been fucking crazy. Yeah, so I think those shows sh- are going to be a lot of fun. And we have some really stupid shit planned. Yeah. It involves hot wax and clothespins. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's going to get sexually aggressive. Indeed it will. Uh, so what do you say? I think it's time to actually make something of uh, some entertainment value. How about we uh, kick off the Mexican joke off, gang? <laughs> So topical. Wow, not only, <laughs> not only punctual, but early. Aye, so topical. There it is. There. I'll kick it off this week. Donald Trump visited Poland this week, presumably to get advice on how to efficiently outfit the U.S. Navy submarines with screen doors. <laughs> <laughs> I Polak jokes are maybe my favorite racist <laughs> jokes. You never get to whip them out anymore. Yeah, I guess that's true. That's vintage racism. Yeah, there are fewer polls than there used to be. That's like racism that you could sell on Pawn Stars. You know? <laughs> <laughs> a 73-year-old woman hit the accelerator instead of the brakes while driving and ended up flying airborne into a pool, just once again proving the age-old stereotype, cars can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, get out of my office. <laughs> yeah, like every Tom joke is like you go through a haunted house and at the end someone just gives you like a cookie dipped in barbecue sauce and you're like, what? I don't understand any of this. You go through a haunted house and in the last room Santa is there for some reason. Yeah, and you're like, wait, But what? not like scary Santa, just regular ass Santa. Yeah, and he's like rolling a cigarette. <laughs> Okay, uh, the Trump administration is signaling a move to fulfill its campaign promise of refilling Guantanamo Bay with, quote, bad dudes. Currently on their most wanted list is that guy your sister dated for a while in high school and Johnny Depp, probably. <laughs> <laughs> every, every family has a sister that, like, oh, yeah, and then, you know, there was Brandon, and he was, like, five years older than her, and we just don't really like to think of I think I was that sister in the family. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I used to be. 
The wife of Marvel Comics legend Stan Lee passed away this week of natural causes. In related news, the spirit of Jack Kirby was seen hovering near her grave while taking a handful of ghost Viagra. <laughs> Wait, Stan Lee died? No. No, Stan Lee's Stan wife. Stan Lee's wife did. And Jack oh, Kirby yeah. is going to fuck her ghost in hell. Ghost Viagra. <laughs> Jack Kirby's not going to hell, all right? He's no, he's just taking a trip down there to meet her. Is Stan Lee's wife a bad lady? I don't know, but I just like the idea of Stan Lee being punished. I mean... I love Stan Lee, but my yeah, Lord, yeah, yeah. He, By the way, that is a joke of that matters to maybe four people. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I cared when I thought it was Stan Lee that was dead, but not really. No, no, it, Did you know that Stan... Yo, that is going to be an international day of mourning in this house. Yeah, I usually you, miss oh, yeah. those. There's a, here's a fun fact. Stan Lee's actually the highest growing actor of all time because of his cameos in Marvel oh, movies. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's so interesting. That's so funny. Huh. Anyway, Tom Goss. Okay. A swarm of flying ants stormed Wimbledon, making it very difficult to play in those conditions. Amidst the suffering, one player said to another, Hey, usually it's a storm of wasps that ruin everything here. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> oh, shit. Was that joke a car? Because it didn't fly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really confused the break with the ability to be funny on purpose. <laughs> you want to break something and redeem yourself? <laughs> Break, wait, you want me to break? Oh, yeah, I was just... No, don't was, touch anything. Yeah. Stop it. For no. the love of God, don't. No, no, put no, it down. Take a chair towards the window. Um, okay, yeah. I'm just trying to be helpful, fuckers. Yeah, like, you're doing a physical act out on an audio medium, you dumb shit. And you're also turning this into a fucking WWE event. I perform for my friends. Zangief is strong! <laughs> uh, someone pointed out that white Anglo-Saxon Protestant for Wasp is redundant. They're, they're already white. I know they're Anglo-Saxon. They're yeah. asps. They're know. WPs. But asps are like cool snakes. Asps? Yeah. Really? It's an Egyptian snake. It's like one of the most poisonous snakes. I thought, so, I thought that was just like a, sl- like a you know, pejorative term for Yu-Gi-Oh players. Motherfucking <laughs> <laughs> asps are out hey, today, yo. I tell you. Uh, all righty. Uh, a U.S. mint worker has been placed on leave after putting a noose on a black co-worker's chair. Management within the plant said they knew something was up with the employee when he refused to make pennies. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Abraham Lincoln's on the penny. Oh, uh, he works for the mint, and they make the money. That guy. Yeah. Do you know it costs more than a penny to make a penny? Yeah. It costs two cents to make one cent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What a country! <laughs> <laughs> I, this is, I'm being my least favorite version of myself, is which is derail the humor for some fun facts. No, I actually, I like. Inf- you're smarter than me, so I like information. I only can uh, attach information to my brain that is like vaguely amusing. So it's never like, okay, how do I do CPR? It's always like Rutherford B. Hayes <laughs> actually invented just, the modern day ice cream sundae. That yeah. amusing chestnut Rutherford B. Hayes <laughs> trip. Oh, uh, here we go. Craft store Hobby Lobby was caught smuggling stolen Iraqi artifacts into the U.S. <laughs> Their plan was thwarted by that arts and crafts archaeologist, Indiana Joannes. <laughs> 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 That's the stupidest thing I ever wrote. That's uh, the dumbest gayest shit. I uh, I loved it. I when I when I would go to Joannes Fabrics, my, my mom like like sews and does a lot of like work with like textile materials <coughs> or whatever. And uh, I remember going to the bathroom, and I'm like, there are gang signs carved in the toilet of this Joanne's fabrics. Like, who's banging at Joanne's? <laughs> like, who's like, yeah, we came to get some commemorative b- bandanas for little shorty's passing, and then, you know. Well, at the same time, where do you think they get their bandanas? I'm just picturing, like, you're walking down the street in a bad neighborhood, and a car rolls up, and you just see, like, the fucking gun come out the window, but it's got googly eyes on the side. <laughs> no, it's a glue gun. <laughs> <laughs> Elma's motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, rapper Macklemore surprises Grandma on her 100th birthday by putting her in his music video. Finally, Macklemore has found his target audience, women too old to hear anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you take that, Macklemore, from the guy who's fatter than you and has the same haircut. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's more pelican-y. What? His hair. He he's, looks pelican He's very seagullish. This is a different haircut. I don't know why I'm taking a stance on this. I didn't mean to derail everything. I'm not, I'm no, not it's fine. I'm just actually upset. I was just trying to feel like, so what, how, how do pelicans' hair look? I, I feel like they I mean, just technically are, they're feathers, but they just look more like, I don't know. Don't condescend to me while you're condescending to me, all right? We don't have the time. Don't, don't double down on this. I can't. I'm, I'm, like, no, the, yes, don't think a police like dog animal. died of heat stroke after being left in a locked patrol car. On the bright side, we finally found a way to get white women to take to the streets and protest police misconduct. <laughs> Damn, that's good. <laughs> Correct. Oh, no. 
famed basketball coach Bobby Knight is under investigation for sexual assault. In a statement to the press, the NBA said, quote, we are shocked to hear the upsetting news that one of our coaches is behaving like one of our players. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do anything to fix the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Women get hurt. Anyway, talk <laughs> Hey. hey, join our Patreon. And- <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to have to give some to the ACLU because we feel bad. <laughs> okay. A man who tried to open the door on a plane during flight was knocked out with two bottles of wine. Afterwards, a sassy stewardess twirled a cabernet saying, sometimes people need to hit the bottle too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe Samir Suri on here last week isn't the one that said twirl the cabaret. cabaret. I can't believe you knew those words. Like <laughs> my mom likes wine. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she's sassy. <laughs> I feel like someone else wrote these jokes like in your sleep and then you know you took credit. <laughs> He's got like those elves that made shoes in the old stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel I, like you, you fall asleep in front of the computer. Jokes and... were terrible. <laughs> oh, I love them. Uh, speaking of which, the Australian government withheld greenhouse gas data to hide a rise in emissions. To hide it, they put it somewhere no one in Australia would ever look inside a book, inside a shower, inside a store that only sells very small knives. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Very Small Knives Emporium. (laughs) Yeah, it's just for like letters and maybe like getting stuff out of like a little crevice or whatever. (laughs) Like that neither of us knew how to do an Australian accent. That's not a knife. This is a knife. (laughs) (laughs) And this is a spoon. (laughs) What? And final round. (laughs) Venus Williams is in hot water after being involved in a fatal car accident. If found to be at fault, she could be charged with looks like a manslaughter. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man, you're getting yourself into some... Who's the one that said Leslie Jones looked like a man... Oh, that was Milo Yiannopoulos. No, no, she said he said she looked like a gorilla. Oh, (laughs) that's a different thing entirely. (laughs) I met Leslie. She called me a motherfucker and then said I was funny. She was very nice. That's nice. Oh, yeah, (laughs) All right, well, uh, on the final episode of the Mean Boys podcast, the penultimate joke. (laughs) You guys look way more like gorillas than Leslie Jones. Okay, I take pride in it. (laughs) All right, Tom is saying something to me in sign language that I can't decipher. Uh, Looks to be cheese related. (laughs) We lost something here. (laughs) Our innocence. Okay. Um, Joey Jaws Chestnut set the world record for hot dogs eaten in 10 minutes at 73.5 hot dogs and buns or two Keith Carey lunches. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> How did I not see that? <laughs> Sorry, bud. I, so I, was, I was too busy getting distracted by his funny name to see the <laughs> Joey, Joey Jaws Chestnut. Joey Chestnuts. <laughs> like, is that, that is like a name that Keith would make up for like a cooking show sketch that no one will remember. <laughs> hey, I'm Joey Chestnuts. You didn't... <laughs> Fill your cheeks full of nut. <laughs> yeah, you cracked my code. Yeah, it cooks with jizz. Yeah, shut up. I have one trick. All right, let's start writing that later. Uh, China <laughs> China has introduced new internet censorship laws banning depictions of homosexuality, addiction, and prostitution. Now, if citizens of the communist superpower want to see these things, they will have to watch their gay-ass power-addicted government sell their bodies for a future that will never come. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Got sad because I assumed that was going to be about me. Again. No, 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 no. Y- you laughed just because it wasn't about you. I didn't get the joke at all. <laughs> you know, why fight back against your friends when you can fight back against fascism with a human face? Yeah, I mean, it's really great to fight against a government that can't do anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> it totally is. Yeah. yeah. No, this uh, China. As a dude who lives in America, fuck China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, China uh, just installed the largest solar power plant in the world, but they made it shaped like a cartoon panda, so it's literally fascism with a cuddly, wuddly face. <laughs> That's it's, adorable. Oh, it, it looks cute as fuck, but you're like, oh, yeah, there's a bunch Pull of... Pull up the aerial photo. It's just a picture of Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. But yeah, it's really hot, but yeah, I guess I'm making like... Yeah, work will set you free or whatever. <laughs> I guess I'm at like a spark factory or some shit. <laughs> yeah, we turn fire into super fire. We make the sun here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and on that note, uh, the Mean Boys will return shortly. Thank you one and all for attending the Wichita County Fair's 46th Annual Bake Off. Every year, we invite the best bakers in the Tri-County area to present their tastiest treats. And out of the dozens of entries, we've narrowed this year's contestants down to three finalists. Now, before we make our decision, we want to take a moment to chat with our top three bakers. First up is Wichita's own Betty Jenkins. Thanks for being here, Betty. Thanks for having me. Gosh, I'm just so excited. And standing next to her from Salem, give a warm welcome to Chester Martindale. Pleasure to be here. 
And rounding out the finalists from uh, checking the paper here, it just says the vast and incomprehensible fudgescape. Anyway, uh, give a warm round of applause for the Fudge Lord. I am the Fudge Lord. By my hand, the fudge is dispensed. If I am absent from reality, so too shall the fudge be absent. This is unacceptable. I am the Fudge Lord. Well, we're uh, we're we're sure happy to have you. Now, Betty, what have you got for us today? Now, uh, th- this here's my my world famous peach cobbler. It's a, a secret family recipe that I got from my mama, and she got from hers, going all the way back to the 1800s. Well, that's really something. How about you, Chester? Well, I'm not normally uh, much for cooking, but I've been known to whip up a coffee cake that the fellas down at the auto shop where I work seem to like quite a bit. And how about you, Fudge Lord? I am the Fudge Lord. I have harnessed and distributed all variables of fudge. Standard fudge. Standard fudge deluxe. Nut fudge. Your tongues weep for fudge, and through my grace they shall receive it. I am the Fudge Lord. Oh, you're a, you're an intense fella. I am the Fudge Lord. I am not a fella. I am the Fudge Lord. Well, uh, I suppose the only thing left to do now is to have a taste test and crown a winner. I am the Fudge Lord. The taste test is irrelevant. I have many scientists, and they have analyzed the data. All outcomes are favorable to the fudge. It is inevitable. I am the Fudge Lord. Well, now, you're not being a very good sport there, are you, Mr. Fudge Lord? Mr. Fudge Lord was my father. Please call me the Fudge Lord. I am the Fudge Lord. Well, that's a, uh, that's a damn fine cobbler, Betty. Well, thank you kindly. Now on to uh, Chester's coffee cake. and uh, mm, that's, that's very good. Is that a hint of nutmeg I'm picking up there? You got it. Outstanding. And now we, uh, we move over to the Fudge Lord. I am the Fudge Lord. Activate your fudge intake protocol. That's, uh... God damn, that's incredible fudge. I am the Fudge Lord. It is a topically perfect fudge. Every molecule acts in service of the greater fudge. The scientists have confirmed this. I am the Fudge Lord. Uh, I'm sorry, but but I can't sit here and watch this anymore. I am the Fudge Lord. Please explain. This is insane. Does, does nobody else see the madness in what's happening right now? Fudge is, is not a baked good. It's, really, it's more of a candy than anything, isn't it? Error. Error. Thou shalt not judge the Lord of Fudge. You see dissent against the fudge. You are a liability, and you must be removed. Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 Mr. Mr. Fudge Lord, I was just joshing. Now, please put put the gun down. I I am the Fudge Lord. The process will be swift. You will feel pain. Oh, oh God, it burns. Oh, it burns my bones. No! Fudge protection protocol complete. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, did you just kill Chester? He is not dead, only repurposed. His carbon has been harnessed. The carbon creates heat. The heat creates energy. The energy creates motion in the turbines. The turbines create the fudge. This is the truth of the fudge war. Well, you know, uh, in all my years of being a county fair taste tester, I've never seen a contestant deatomize someone before. It's unorthodox, certainly. But I'll be damned if that's not the finest fudge I've ever tasted. The winner is the fudge lord. I am the Fudge Lord. You shall have no other lords before the Fudge Lord. This outcome is mandatory. The Fudge is life. The Fudge is the Alpha. The Fudge is the Omega. In the absence of the Fudge, there is only the Void. I am the Fudge Lord. Uh, the Mean Boys podcast is back, and we are we are back for. I think we decided this is our either third or fourth or fifth favorite game involving <laughs> words that I say and descriptions in the form of a Jeopardy game. <laughs> Give it up for Tom Tupperty. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, this, jing- this jingle is a good uh, sixty seconds long. Yeah. Okay, you just gave us a taste. I also like that you didn't pick the exciting opening of the show one. You picked like the. No, no, not, not the, our uh, show, the show Jeopardy, of which you are well, presenting a parody. For, no. <laughs> 
sorry. For any new listeners, uh, just very brief. Uh, Tom has an insane brain. He describes things in a very strange way. Uh, it's and, swans, sexy geese. Yeah. Uh, love gravy, biscuit ketchup. Yes. So we, uh, we've reverse engineered that into a game of Jeopardy where he gives us categories and uh, things that we have to try and figure out what the fuck Tom is talking about. So, you know, if the category is sex and he says, you know, uh, boom, boom, stinkies, that's like, you know, uh, fart porn or whatever. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> you really boxed well, yourself into well a corner. Done. Yeah. I, I, I was impressed. Boom, boom, stinkies. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Welcome to Boom Boom Stinky's home of the yeah. Boomy Back Ribs. Yeah, no- na- name's Boom Boom Stinky's. Been riding these rails since 19005. All right. Ain't had nothing to eat but a can of beans. <laughs> My own pee. So, you guys ready for your categories? I I can- more than anything in the world. All right. Your categories are emotions. <laughs> Talk to the microphone, you jackhole. Emotions, dinosaurs, Disneyland, and great Americans. Wow. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Oh okay, Tom. God. Tom has like two emotions, so th- I, I'm assuming there are going to be a lot of synonyms angry for rage. Angry and super angry. Uh, great Americans. I pretty much think he only likes Edward Snowden and us in I, terms of citizens. I, I, I'm calling it right now. I guarantee you, one of these great Americans is not American, <laughs> <laughs> and one of these Disneyland things is a not very far right. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't love Winston Churchill? All right, I'm going to take the board up. He's top. my favorite. I'm going to say Disneyland for a hundred. Disneyland. Oh, this is bullshit. I know nothing about Disneyland. Uh, Splash. Oh fuck. Well, I think I know what it might be. Okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna rearrange some shit here. Um. Bumpy for three minutes. Uh, Space Mountain. No. Uh, the Matterhorn. No. Indiana Jones was the correct Damn, answer. Damn it! I knew that was it. Ah, bullshit. Uh, does that go to Connor? It then? Stays to me. Uh, it stays yeah, to you. To you. Uh, Disney for two hundred. Disney for two hundred. Uh, are you keeping track of the score? Uh, I Who forgot that. We, I forget that we need All to do right, that. You guys but keep track of your score. Yeah, we'll just keep track of your own score. For two hundred, the Weepy Hooker ride. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Points. Fuck me. <laughs> that is the, the most fucked up thing in an amusement park. Is just have a line of prostitutes. Well, you know they're taking it out, right? That's more upsetting. It was but huge, I, it was a huge news. Wait, there's a Confederate general in the parts of the Caribbean, right? Wait, what? <laughs> no, they're taking on those oh, yeah. Confederate general statues. All right, All right uh, Disney for three. Disney for three. What sloppy flying titty better with white t-shirt drop? That'd be Splash Mountain. Correct. <laughs> what the... F- I, oh. Speaking of Confederate imagery, this is so bullshit. Like, if you're going to do a Disneyland category, this you need to have, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh! one. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get off it. I'll go to uh, Emotions for one. Emotions for one. Hulk's Diesel. Oh, uh, irritation. No. Anger. Correct. <laughs> but <laughs> irritation. <laughs> don't, I th- don't make me irritated. You wouldn't <laughs> like me when I'm irritated. That's the most famous quote in Hulk lore. You You're don't hate me. I I'm thought annoyed. it was. I thought anger was going to be too obvious, and I thought like the fuel for what he turns it. He gets irritated, and then he gets angry. <laughs> I, I'm completely wrong, and I'm sorry. Hulk Diesel is my favorite uh, porn star. <laughs> Hulk Diesel. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Keith Grinder, bro. <laughs> and Keith Grinder is uh, sweeping right now. <laughs> <laughs> Keith Grinder. Friends of Boom Boom Stinky. Uh, emotions for two. Emotions for two. That didn't happen, but it happened. Trauma. No. Denial. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. God damn it. I am getting my ass kicked. Dinosaurs for one. Dinosaurs for 100. Um, uh, uh, Mega Bird. Pterodactyl. Correct. Fuck. Keith controls the board. Does anybody else hear a child? Yeah, yeah. there's a child screaming there about are, something. Welcome people. to Echo Park, folks. Other people live in this neighborhood. All right, cool. They're going to learn today. Uh, dinosaurs for two. Dinosaurs for 200. Uh, world's first gang. Velociraptors. Points. Ah. Boom. On the board. <laughs> So Tribe funny. dynamics. <laughs> the Crips, the Bloods, and the Rip. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Dinosaurs for three hundred. Uh, stab you ass. Oh <laughs> shit! I know it. I don't know the name Put of it. Put him on a timer. Uh, Dilaposaurus. Oh. That's. I think that's an organ. Stegosaurus. You trick ass Points. bitch. I Ba-ba-ba-ba. thought there was another one that had the knife on his tail. I know a Stegosaurus. <laughs> God, fuck. I'm so. <laughs> you seem furious. Great Americans for one. Great I'm really irritated right now, guys. <laughs> I'm kicking the shit out of you. I right. know. Great Americans for 100. Oh, fucking shit. Tall hat dead guy. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Points. Bullshit. Oh, sh- <laughs> how are your fat arms so quick? <laughs> Aerodynamic, baby. Uh, 200 for Great Americans. Uh, great Americans for 200. Um, 
Fat blind lightning bitch. Ben Franklin. Points. <laughs> Great Americans 300. <laughs> Gout. He wasn't like all the way blind. Fat, fat, blind, lightning. Why bitch? you call him a bitch? I don't like him. Why don't you? I just smite yourself right now. I burn myself in one of his stoves. Um, uh, yeah, he ruined Americans. the perfectly good, perfectly good kite. Why don't you like Benjamin Franklin? Huh? I, I don't like anyone who's famous for doing the dumbest thing possible. That's which is you. A kite. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck, you hypocrite. <laughs> Yeah, stop stealing my thunder, Ben Franklin, or stealing my lightning, Ben Franklin. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> God. Okay. Uh, uh, Great Americans for 300. Powder wig, ice, river fight guy. George Washington. Points. Oh, Great Americans for 400. Great Americans yeah, yeah. for 400. got to get back on the board. Mr. Lawn Paint. Mm. Mr. Lawn Paint? Mm-hmm. Fucking shit. Lawn paint. This is going to be something ridiculous. I am going to be so... <laughs> I'm going to make a really weird guess. Okay. And I'll explain my logic if I'm wrong. John F. Kennedy. Points. <laughs> <laughs> it's why I think it is, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Because he's brain matter? <laughs> well, why couldn't you call him Mr. Dress Designer? Or <laughs> <gasps> He's on a roll. God damn it, that's funny. <laughs> Fuck both of you. <laughs> Disneyland for 400. <laughs> Disneyland for 400. Um, uh, drop it old school. Drop it old school? Tower of Terror? Points. Oh. Oh, okay, because they got rid of it, right? And then now it's old school. it was a drop, yeah. yeah. Well, it's still there. It's just... Uh, I'm going to be so pissed if it's... Some it's shitty the Guardian. fucking... Yeah. yeah, it's the Guardians of the Galaxy. Right? I'm going to yeah. be pretty pissed if it's the next one is also George Washington because <laughs> he's in the Hall of Presidents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do Great Americans for 500. The Hall of Presidents actually isn't at Disneyland. It's at Disney World. All right, Great Americans for 500. Not an Adam's apple. Wait, what? Not an Adam's apple. Okay. Thomas Jefferson? No. <laughs> I do not. I, I got nothing. Three. Can two, I guess again? No. Well, you can guess again, but you won't get the points. Is it John Adams? Yes. What? Well, I thought not an Adams apple. I was like, it's either John Adams or Thomas Jefferson. I thought it was going to be something other. with a chick, but I couldn't figure out what. No. Oh, that makes sense. The John Adams. That- no, no, that would have been fucking. Uh, uh, he would have gotten two people mixed up. Like, yeah, the water lady flag hoe. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, John Adams. He's that guy who shot an apple off someone's head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I control the board. Yeah, that's right. Uh, dinosaurs for three. Dinosaurs. I think we're on dinosaurs for four. Dinosaurs for four. Um, ye- or are we on for four? No, we are on for four. Uh, you want to do four? Yes. Okay. Tarred head midget hands. T Rex. Points. Man, I'm coming back, kind of. Okay, yeah, that's good. You're, you're still down. All right. Oh, uh, no, he's got a good run, though. He got I don't. I right honestly don't know how many how I have. <laughs> have uh, you not been scoring it at all? I lost track. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, dinosaurs for five hundred. Dinosaurs for five hundred. Um. Uh, giraffe monster. Brontosaurus. Points. Oh. Shit. Uh, d- 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 Disney for five. Disney for 500. Uh, or did we already do that? No. Okay. Um, weird colorful animals. It's a small world. No. Fuck. Weird co- oh, uh, the, the fucking tea room. What's that? The tea room. No. Oh. But I feel like you should get partial. It was Toontown. Oh, okay. That kind of oh, works. Oh, shit. Toontown sounds like a ghetto they make in, like, Who Framed Roger Rabbit's. That's exactly what Who Framed Roger Rabbit is about. Is it really? Yeah. Have you never seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Not since I was, like, a child. It's, yeah. It, yeah, it's a film noir, <laughs> but the ghetto they go into is Toontown. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic movie. Okay, well, fuck me. But at least you got the joke they made. <laughs> I did, yeah. I like that you were trying to be funny. You accidentally just wrote Who Framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> I'm sure it's subliminally uh, yeah, left or whatever. I feel. Uh, what's left? Um, so what is left? Emotions. We haven't done emotions. Emotions, um, uh, uh, three through five. Uh, left. That's it. Okay, emotions three. Emotions for three. Truth Shroud. Lying. No. That's not an emotion. Truth Shroud? I know that, but I didn't think <laughs> you knew that. Confusion. No, happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Upsetting. <laughs> 
I'm so glad we saved that one for later. Then I am blinded by the light of joy. I know not the sights of despair that are around us at all times. Oh. Uh, 400. Okay, moon gut. <laughs> moon gut? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, uh, what? <sighs> Horniness. <laughs> no. <laughs> Courage. <laughs> no, it was sadness or depression. Moon gut? I, I was explaining. I was thinking you you go into heat like a horny werewolf or something. What is, why is moon gut depression? I, I don't know. When I'm depressed, I feel like like uh, like my stomach like scr- kind of like scrunching in, and the moon looks like the dark. Like if you look at the right angle, full moon, it looks like the darkness is pushing the moon away. I, I realize it's a little bit more abstract, and maybe only. <laughs> Related to feelings I feel. I, want, I didn't know I that. want to draw a children's book. <laughs> that is just like the style of Goodnight Moon. But it's Tom describing depression and the moon. Good night, cruel world. <laughs> well, we have an episode time. <laughs> Mr. Moon Gut. Good night, friends. Good night, None mom. His friends. <laughs> Good night, comedy, where I bomb. Uh, I would say 500. Emotions. Last one. 500. The ultimate cock tease. What is love? No. What is hope? Points. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> How do you like that shit? That's a good poll. Yeah. Jesus. No, I mean, the, the I really got a lot of insight from the moon gut <laughs> answer. <laughs> that was your JFK paint my lawn moment. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I just realized? Uh, I missed double property. It was supposed to be moon gut, so it didn't really matter. But It, it never has mattered once. We've never right. kept score. No, nor have you ever truly figured out what it was. All right. All right are you guys ready for your final solution? I yes. am, yeah. Okay. Since... Okay, he definitely got more than you. Do you want to say you have 1,200, you have 1,000? Uh, I think that's I, fair. I have for sure more than that, but yes. Then let's 1,300. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Read the question. Okay. All right. Um, your category is shirts. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> what is the clue? I'm extraordinarily Are displeased. Are you guys going to write down how much you're waiting? Uh, yes, yeah, so I will play, write it down yeah, on my phone. And, and uh, read the clue and then play the jingle. Okay. Tablecloth suit. Where you would play the jingle. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Tablecloth suit. Tablecloth suit. Fuck. There's so many different things that this. Okay, the category is is shirts, right? Yeah. Tom is doing a very upsetting naked chicken dance right now. <laughs> Tom looks like kind of fat, but kind of ripped, like a guy from the 30s. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, that is my body type. Is anyone with a curly mustache who could lift like 100 pounds and then died at 40? <laughs> All right. I was trying to get a video of that on the sneak, but I only got the last chicken arm flap. Do you have uh, Do you have your guess, Connor? I do. Uh, I wagered $1,000, and I guessed a flannel shirt. Okay. Uh, you were supposed to tell me if he was right, but I wager everything, and I said a flannel shirt as well. Okay. Is flannel different than plaid? I wrote plaid first. <laughs> and then I didn't think you would know what plaid well, was. here's the problem. Flannel is a type of shirt. Plaid is a pattern. So <laughs> Okay. I think, I think, I think you guys get the points. I think you lose. I, what, <laughs> <laughs> we win. Uh, you, uh, you, I think you have to read the dictionary. Um, <laughs> and then after that, the show will come back. This is Space PBS. Fifty years ago, in the fall of 2017, a major financial crash brought an entire generation of Americans, inexperienced with hardship, to their knees. Today, we sit down to talk with some of the survivors of the millennial Great Depression. Some were put through hell due to the decisions of their parents. Yeah, when the hoverboard markets dropped out in 16, Daddy lost all his Bitcoin, his startup went under, and he started hitting the vape pretty hard. He was going through two, three bottles of juice a day, and his smoke rings still weren't coming out clean. Back then we thought it was safe, but now he has to talk through a hole in his jeans. Others were misled, as they sought to make a better, more flexible life for themselves. Yeah, we saw Facebook ads saying there was good money out in California driving for Uber, and my fiancé and I, we, we packed up the Prius and headed out to what we thought was the land of almond milk and stevia, but when we got there we realized our, our, our Prius was salvage title, and and we, we had to drive a lift. <laughs> The children of these enterprising young sharing economy workers were hit especially hard. 
I mean, we didn't have much money growing up, so the kids at school always treated me a little different. I mean, do you know how hard it is to make friends when you're texting with the Android emojis? The eggplant doesn't even look like a dick. And even those who did manage to find a piece of the changing economy to call their own found disaster lurking around every turn. Man, five million followers, sponsorship deals, tween pussy. I had it made, man. Then one day, the loot just stopped coming, man. I was swinging through life without a care in the world, and Twitter shut down the platform, and that vine snapped and sent me careening right into the jungle. I had to move out all my Funko Pop toys and Airbnb my pool house. It was humiliating. I almost had to get a real estate license. Dude, I, I couldn't even keep my nanny, and for months I was cooking my own blue apron. It was really scary. When we come back, we'll have shocking images of the avocado toast lines and graphic designers standing outside of Kinko's waiting for a metal band to commission a flyer. Uh, and the Mean Boys podcast returns after Tom took a ferocious shit break in the bathroom uh, that adjoins the studio. I can't digest fat right now, so it's I'm sorry. He, I can't digest your fat ideas. <laughs> the the smells in this studio right now are ghoulish. <laughs> <laughs> it, it feels like we're in a jacuzzi uh, full of filth. Uh, yeah. A filth jacuzzi. This is a fucking will. Dante wrote about this. I'm, like, so, I'm sorry we, we made a podcast. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I did, oh, I, did a poop. Poop. I did a poop too close to where we do the jokes. <laughs> Next time I'm just going to shit on your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Here, good luck swiping the blood out of your keyboard. I, I like the Tom. Like, my sound effects will still work better than yours. I like the Tom was like, I don't want to talk about this on the air. I'm like, yeah, totally. And then we immediately made yeah, fun of that was a dick yeah. move. I'm sorry. We'll, okay. let's, we'll start over. It's okay. No, it's fine. It's okay. all right. It's not you to do. Okay. We can start over. It's okay. It's all right. All right. Well, the anyway. podcast is back after Tom took a gnarly shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to be playing some voicemails. We've got a few of these stacked up. If you want to leave us a voicemail, please do it. 304-805-MEAN. Uh, that's 6326 for you fucking simpletons out there. Uh, let's hear what these uh, listeners have to say, guys. Hey, you fucking, you mother... Go to hell, you jackal fuck. Now. <laughs> okay. I, I like that. Nah. Like That's it. the first voicemail. Uh, it sounds like the police chief from like a movie from the 70s. Hey, you fuck. You jack up, fuck. You go to hell and you leave your badge and gun on the table. Like, that's something you get drunk and leave on an ex girlfriend's voicemail. You know? He <laughs> reminded me of the deputy from what, that one movie, Zootopia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fucking everybody who like watched Crank Yankers and the Jerky Boys and was like, I could do that. And it was really bad. She's like, cut, cut, cut. Wait, the Jerky Boys are a real thing? Yes, <laughs> they're not. A, I only knew of them. Myth. I only knew them from uh, what's that show? Um, the Jerky Boys. <laughs> no, uh, uh, Arrested Development. Oh yeah, no, that's a real. Thing. Yeah, that's a real thing. I thought Tom. it was just a dumb. Okay, all right. <laughs> Tom's learning. The more you know. If the, the thing is that Jerky Boy should be something that we call you as an opening. <laughs> hey, definitely a beef boy. Yeah, you would fucking slim Jim dunce. Uh, all right, let's listen to this next one. Hey, man, boys. Hey, Susan Medina, all the way from Stephenville, Texas. I just wanted to say that I love the show, that I, that I listen to it every day, it's part of my regular podcast, you know, rounds. Word. And uh, you got any voice ever come down to Texas? Shit, man, I can uh, stay at my place in my trailer, fucking make some goddamn real fajitas. Don, not knock it, Don, Don Juan, Don Carlos, whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> but right here in Texas, man, I'm Mexican. I know how to cook meat. And boy, if Keith ever lets me, man, I can ride that, you know, that whole... Or he let me ride, you know. I don't care. I'm down. So keep up the good work, boy. I love this dude. <laughs> That's actually what happens if you play Boomhauer's dialogue backwards. <laughs> I mean, boy, like, yeah, you, you, man, dang on, I'm gonna right. saute up some onions and peppers, and I'm, I'm gonna sorry. sodomize the shit out of yeah, you. Yeah, so I have a couple things to address. <laughs> Number one, as soon as you hear that accent, hey, y'all, I'm from Texas. It's just like a game of we're all waiting for the N word to drop. Yeah, no, I, I screened these, thankfully. <laughs> Number two, do you say he wants to ride my hole? I think so. Yeah, I'm good. Well, I don't know. Is there a picture? Like, uh, there is. It's not. Yeah, great. he left a picture with the voicemail. <laughs> 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 Is that a Jetsons phone? <laughs> he dictated out the binary code to create the Nobody's JPEG. trying to dictate me. <laughs> That's a jet shot. I like Maybe. that. We should, we should do a show in his trailer. <laughs> no. No, we're going to get Buffalo Bill. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do them at classy places like the back room of a comedy club in a strip mall and at Denny's in Fresno. 
<laughs> tickets available now. Uh, <laughs> I'll perform in your trailer, dude. Thanks for calling, Jesus. Yeah, look, hopefully he performs in his trailer. Keith's butthole is a, uh, is, uh, you know, it's... it's yeah, maintained. It's like getting to Mountain Doom. There's just fucking cliffs. Many of, have entered, but few have left. People have thrown rings in there. <laughs> <laughs> but, what, what, are they trying to win a stuffed animal? <laughs> uh, Step right up. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, Throw part- your rings up in this bar. <laughs> yeah, this game's rigged. <laughs> I just wanted a Tom Goss plushie. <laughs> All right, uh, next voicemail. Hey, this is... Uh... That's it. <laughs> what, what did I call him? His, his last act on planet Earth was to have a stroke as he tried to call us gay. Play, play that one more time. Hey, this is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like he was trying to call 911, then shit his pants. This is the sound of a man being abducted by aliens. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what is sounds he's making and what is like telephone distortion. Like, I, it feels listen like, again. It fe- hey, this is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it feels like he was drunk and trying to call his ex girlfriend, and right when it got to the message, he realized it was. Us. Yeah, this is where like, like <laughs> gurgly is a fucking butterman calling us. <laughs> I want to come back on the podcast. <laughs> <sighs> okay, uh, next one. Hey, mean boys. Luis Galvez, a uh, long-time listener, first time caller. Uh, just wanted to see if you guys had any tips on getting rid of Jehovah's Witnesses from your front door. I uh, do. like to know your thoughts. Uh, as always, keep up the good work, and have a good day. Bye. Huh. I like how we're all a little disappointed from somebody who called with, like, coherent oh, sentences. I'm, I know. It was, I was like, like, what? Yeah, like, could you have also just made some weird, like, fucking gut fart noises? We have <laughs> no, sane listeners it. that are productive members of society. Yeah, Luis Galvez actually designed our podcast art. Uh, check him out on Twitter. Podcast uh, art? Podcast art. We, well, yeah, you can see his Twitter where he does yeah. nothing interesting aside from contribute to this show. <laughs> uh, <don't care. laughs> yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah, he's a good dude. Um, yeah, Jehovah's Witnesses, Tom, what's, what's your thing? All right, so this is what my godmother did, and I witnessed many times. Uh, when uh, they would show up, she would just uh, go get her bottle of wine, uh, smear her lipstick, give me a glass of wine, and then we'd invite them to drink with us, and they would get the fuck out pretty quickly. <laughs> I mean, that seems like overly elaborate, but a lot of fun. Oh, a lot I, of fun. Uh, one time uh, on Halloween, this one I was like 19. Or you blow them. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, <laughs> I was getting ready to go out, and I was just, I had like, White, like, sort of, like, misfits, like, skull face makeup with an upside-down cross on my forehead. <laughs> and then there's a knock at the door, and I look out, and it's fucking more. <laughs> and I just open the door, and I'm just like, yeah. And they're like, oh. And I'm like, you want to come in? <laughs> they did not. <laughs> I, I don't. I they kind of just like threw the pamphlet in past me and then took off. I never really had him come to my door, and I was always bummed because I always wanted to drop a pentagram on my chest or something or do something silly. But uh, I, I will say, like when my when I see my dad encounter these people in public, I just I love the way my dad deals with strangers that are soliciting him because like someone like he was handing out those little orange Bibles and he's like, "Here, take a Bible," and he just goes, "No." <laughs> 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 you fucking idiot! It's like, no, uh, <laughs> what? what yeah. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> My mom was really annoying because she, like, more annoying to me than to them, but pretty annoying to them because she would invite them in, or she wouldn't even invite them in in the doorway. She would then try to convert them to Buddhism while they're trying. To- <laughs> And That's they, like when two people that believe in conspiracy theories start talking. Like, no, JFK yeah. was killed by monkeys. They both <laughs> thought they Which would... is what I call Cubans, because I'm Alex Jones. Uh, no. <laughs> and then my dad would just scream at him, and that, that got rid of him pretty quick. Your dad is fucking terrifying. My dad is the nicest guy, but you don't want to make him... I'll take the Hulk when he's angry over my dad, because my dad... The Hulk when he's what irritated? Are, what if I... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, Long man. range callback. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite moments was when he was going to get something from storage, and the guy like came over and was like, "Hey, man, you can't be here. We're closed. It's like a store. When a store closes, then it's over." And my dad goes from being fine. You're going, I'm getting the fuck out of here. And then my dad, this is when he was healthy, grabs a couch and just flings it into the back of the truck. And the guy's like, whoa, man, calm down. He's get the fuck out. He just starts screaming at this poor stoner dude. Dude, you, Tom's dad looks like the villain in like a 90s action movie. Just like a deranged, <laughs> crazy general that's just bl- blustering and full of hate. But at the same time... He, he is one of the nicest people. Just don't piss him off. One, one time, my dad told off the uh, you know the teller at the the baker's drive through. So I mean, we both got pretty tough dads. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this lady was kept interrupting him, like, "Do you want to like, do you want to add a milkshake to that?" And he's like, "No, I would like to get a number two. And then she's like, "Do you want to do you want to supersize your fries?" And he's like, "All right, here's what's going to happen." 
I'm going to order. You're going to take that down. And then after that, you can ask me any questions you want to ask me. Does that sound good? <laughs> My dad throws knives at the wall sometimes. <laughs> I love that your guys' dad's just so clearly set up who you are. Oh, yeah. No, completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just me is just a feat and negative, and then Tom's just like, yeah, yeah. One, yeah one time he threw a spider at a nun. Out of very, your... very sweet until not happy. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, just get your dad to take care of it, Lewis. Uh, all right, one last voicemail. Tom, hear my voice and tremble, because I, cool, the skull of it has been recently brought to my attention that your blood fiends have been interfering with my skull takers. The recorders taking the skulls of the poor swords that wander into their path in direct violation of the government of the Never Queens. Therefore, I am hereby sending you a cease and desist inscribed on the skulls of my fallen foes that you and your minions are henceforth to see. All activities in skull harvesting or marrow sucking henceforth. Also, what's with you, man? You know, we used to be really cool, but you changed. You know what happened to the good old days when we could just kick back with a bottle of terror flesh wine and chill like two pain beasts in a pod? I, I miss those times. Cool us out. Oh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I really enjoy the fact that whatever that Gurath was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gurath sounds like a mix between like early era Arnold Schwarzenegger and Badger from Breaking Bad. <laughs> wait, wait, was that addressed to you? Or that addressed that... to Karnak. Yeah. How could you said... possibly miss it? How could I you thought possibly said... thought that was for well, you? No, he, I thought he said Tom in the beginning. No, no he, he, he said, said Karnak. He said first Karnak. Ten seconds. <laughs> a... This is a Karnak. Hear my voice. That sounded like Tom. No, it didn't, Tom. It sounded like Karnak. Play one more time. Karnak, hear my voice and tremble. Hang on, is there somebody at the door? I think so. Hello? Hola, I am... Go (laughs) You dare attempt to legislate my marrow sucking! None tell Karnak how to suck marrow! It is a fucking marrow suckers marketplace i didn't think it out all the way through this is why we don't hang out anymore yeah uh Karnak's just like going through some shit right now uh so if you give him a space uh, i think it'll be fine yeah i'm a moth <laughs> okay uh we brought the moth lord <laughs> he will regale you with stories greetings moth lord uh, on the spot explain your cannon i'm a sm- i'm a sad butterfly <laughs> well, there it is. Well, that's about it. What I like about this guy is he really had a, a, a good handle of Karnak Cannon. Uh, it was pretty, pretty remarkable. <laughs> yeah, he did some good world building. Um, all right, that's all the voicemails. Okay, bye. Uh, we definitely did too many of them. Uh, I like how Tom was very clearly queued up for the fact that Karnak was to be entering the podcast, and he proceeded to interrupt and get confused when he showed up. <laughs> Because oh. we're like, is there someone at the door? What? <laughs> yeah, I, and I was like, yeah, I don't think so. Let me say something in a different language. I don't know. <laughs> I, I was trying to yes and you guys. I didn't know this was a setup. Oh, okay, you're not very good at not TV. since I kicked the train into the blood swamp have I seen something so effectively derailed. Ah, yes, and derailments are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, which of the following? Speaking out of your improv treachery to me. <laughs> Well, that transition was uh, almost as smooth as the Trump campaigns. Am I right, everybody? Hey, I'm going to say the N-word. You made me me look better there. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, uh, this week's Wish of the Following uh, comes to us from from the dude I met in uh, Indianapolis, at Death to the Filth on Twitter, uh, a lovely gentleman uh, who's sent us a lot of stuff over the years, and we really appreciate it. Uh, so this game is going to be which of the following is not a real wrestling match type that has actually happened. Okay. And Wait, it what, what is, is it? harder than you might think. Which of the following is not a real type of wrestling match? Yeah, because, you know, they'll have, like, you know, Money in the Bank, Steel Kit. Like, you know, these are some variations that have taken place. And some of these I didn't believe, and I Googled them, and like, they are real. I thought they called it, like, WWE 1, 2, 3, 4. So, no, some of these Who's are, like, some of these are like foreign. Door. Some of these are, like, Japanese, like, you know, like wrestling. Okay. I watched some Japanese wrestling at a, at a hotel in Oklahoma. It's bananas. It's pretty dope. Uh, Japanese everything. They, they whatever, whatever they're like, 
Oh, they'll do that. Someone could get hurt. They're like, yeah, we're gonna do that, and then we're just gonna like, you know, add spikes. Like they're, they're <laughs> fucking. We're gonna do that, and that guy just isn't a dude anymore. Uh, so <laughs> let's begin. Uh, which of the following is not a real wrestling match type that has actually happened? Number one, a capture the midget match. <laughs> B Braun panties match. C fans bring the weapons match. <laughs> or D ball gag and chain match. Oh man, we gotta. Ha- All of these sound like things we should do at the live show at Denny's. Yeah, yeah. Be a, be bring your own BDSM implements. Oh, that'd be really funny. Uh, can you run it one more time? Uh, capture the midget match, brawn panties match, fans bring the weapons match, and ball gag and chain match. Christ. What well, is a ball gag and chain? I don't know. I what mean, was B? B was uh, brawn panties match. Okay. The I'm- way I pictured it is that all the, both guys have like. Like attached to their neck, a chain that goes to a ball gag that's attached to the other guy's neck. Oh, jeez! So they can't get that far apart. I'm gonna say C. The uh, the fucking uh, bring fans bring the weapons. All right, and Tom. I, I'm I'm gonna say B. I I, I don't. I, it, I guess it would make sense if maybe there were no like bra and panties, but no ladies. But like I don't feel like they like pay hookers to dance at these and things, right? I never watched <laughs> this. No, there are women who wrestle. Tom. Yeah, there's. Re- there's a whole Netflix show that everyone won't shut up about it right now. Yeah. Bojack or it could, or it could be like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, the answer is D. <laughs> You're both wrong. I'm especially glad that Tom is. Uh, the fake one is Ball Gang Chain Match. That uh, makes sense. Yeah. Uh, moving on, round number two, which is the following night, real wrestling match that has actually taken place. A, Kiss My Ass Match, uh, where you must force your opponent to kiss your bare ass. Uh, B... Taipei Deathmatch. Uh, hands are dipped in glue, then rolled in broken glass. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. C, burning baseball bat match. Or D, electrified cage match. Oh. These are all so fucking metal. Dude, like, if that Taipei shit is real, we are watching that right after. Oh, November. 100%, yes. Um, what was C again? C was burning baseball mat match. That's going to be my guess. And what's A? A is kiss my ass match. Must force opponent to kiss your bare ass. That's that sounds like something these people would do. Um, <laughs> you, the, I, the only group of people you can look down on are backyard wrestlers. So Tom is taking advantage of his it, superiority. It's so funny to find out the weird things that Tom finds displeasing. <laughs> oh yeah, well they're, they're just things where like Tom's like, yeah, look, having a pet bird is the most rewarding experience you'll ever go through. And he's like, yeah, I, I just think that trains and the people that use them and have invented them are dumb. You know, <laughs> I love trains. I know, um, it's a bad example. But... Of course you do. Most autistic stuff. <laughs> Uh, well, it's just there's no TSA. Uh, uh, B, B and D? Uh, B, B and D, type A death match with the bare glass, and uh, D is the electrified cage match. Uh, I'm going to have to agree with Keith. I think it's C. All right, the fake one. C, burning baseball bat match. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, electrified cage match sounds fucking awesome. That sounds rad. That, and then they should throw a dog in there, too. <laughs> oh. I mean, not like a good dog, like a bad dog, like a very bad dog. Like a tough you know? dog. Uh, all like right. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, if you believe the murders, but <laughs> might not. Anyway, <laughs> round number three, uh, blank on a pole edition. Uh, which of the following is not a real wrestling match? A, jockstrap on a pole. <laughs> B, mistletoe on a pole. C, custody papers on a pole. <laughs> or D, Viagra on a pole. Did you write this or someone? Someone else wrote this. Death of the Fair. Custody wrote it. papers on a pole is too good. That's yeah, not that, that's, 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 what, that's like too the, funny. That's the county fair food that Keith could never get his mom to buy him when he was young. <laughs> Can I get some fried government protection? Yeah, I'll get you the gravy corn dog nunchucks, but we can't have the custody papers on a pole. What was A and B? These are really hard. Uh, a and B. A is jockstrap on a pole, and B is mistletoe on a pole. Yeah, I don't think they kiss each other. I'm gonna go mistletoe. I'm going to say jockstrap on a pole. Uh, the fake one. A, jockstrap on a pole. <laughs> yeah, I don't know exactly what the object of that is. Uh, like, yeah. Just like, yeah, get this stinky fucking underwear before the other guy can. So, yeah, you know that thing you don't want? Work real hard for or it. Or maybe you got to hang a guy by his jockstrap up on a pole. Oh, uh, that's pretty nice. That, like, so, just like an ultra wedgie. In a Christmas special, they just would like beat each other up and make out or some shit? I don't know. I mean, we can look into it after the fact. Dude, wrestling that's sounds okay. amazing. Yeah, like I watched some wrestling in that hotel room. And I was like, oh, I get This is just like Dragon Ball Z with fat fucking Radio Shack employees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not better than this. I just, it doesn't enter. I don't get it. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, I literally don't watch movies because I'm like, it's not real. I'm, I have some very white trash tendencies, but uh, not <laughs> as evidenced by the fact that Tom is currently shirtless, sweating, and <laughs> carrying a jug of water <laughs> under his arm, <laughs> which I imagine he will then play like a member of the country <laughs> <laughs> Jamboree. That doesn't work in that kind of jug with no. water still in it, you asshole. Yeah. <laughs> 
Tom, you, Tom, everything about what you're doing doesn't work. <laughs> you fucking moron. Okay, uh, th- moving on from the absinthe bear one man fucking orchestra. Uh, round number four, which of the following is not a real wrestling match? Tom, you look like everyone who would kill a man in the parking lot of a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make your cute face. That doesn't make it better. That makes it creepier and more annoying. Look, I'm getting irritated, and you would not like me when I'm <laughs> Hulk Diesel. Uh, I'm going to go with crankiness. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no, no. Grumpy. I'm going to guess. Grumpy, dude. <laughs> Run number four. A, the crybaby match. Must put a diaper on their opponent and powder their bottom. What? B- <laughs> I like that the heat is getting to us all right about now. Yeah. Uh, B, the bathhouse death match. Uh, C, Inferno <laughs> no, match. No, what? <laughs> bathhouse death match. That's some Greek shit. I don't think I have that app. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, they shut down bathhouse death match. Uh, and D, Dungeon of Doom match. Yeah. Well, hit them one more time real yeah. quick. The cry of every match where you got to put a diaper on them and powder their butt. Okay. Bathhouse death match. <laughs> Inferno match. Or the Dungeon of Doom match. I'm going to say Dungeon of Doom. I'm going to say Inferno match because I don't believe these people know three syllable words. <laughs> uh, the fake one. Dungeon of Doom match. Yeah, boom. That was, that was my second Dungeon one. Dungeon of Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All no, right. The Dungeon of Boom is the bathhouse one. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Dungeon of Boom is our fucking bathroom after you left that goddamn. <laughs> I can't digest fat. It's not my fault. We man. know. You left like a, like a minor Harry Potter mini boss in there. You, <laughs> you left the troll that he has to drop something on his head, you know? Or put his me, wand I wish in his my nose. pancreas was was killing it too. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Round number. Why didn't notes my doctor? Damn it! <laughs> it's not my problem. All right, all real or all fake? Japanese death match edition. A. No ropes. Electrified barbed wire death match. That's a lot. B. No ropes. Barbed wire. C. Four exploding barbed wire boards <laughs> death match. <laughs> C, barbed wire, electrified dynamite pool, double hell death match. I assume these are translated directly because this is some yeah, brilliant Japanese, Japanese to American yeah. uh, word, word constantinuity. I don't know. Uh, or D, piranha death match, must get opponent into piranha tank, closed barbed wire, covered lid for 30 seconds. At that point, the barbed wire is overkill. <laughs> This is this is just like a parade of like just shitty violent adjectives. Oh this, yeah, this isn't all real, all fake, right? These are all real, or all fake. Yeah, yeah um, I think it's a uh, knife, floor, hand grenade, <laughs> shark teeth, murder, death. Uh, fuck you on a sesame seed bun. <laughs> I'm going AIDS, bat, spike pit, <laughs> mother-in-law, fire, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with the one where you put a diaper on Dracula and then you eat your baby, uh, but only uh, on a Tuesday. Uh, I don't yeah, I'm going with werewolf hack the Wi-Fi password, uh, a ball pinch match. Yeah, Solomon Grundy fucked my mom and then bezeled a bunch of money from my company. <laughs> it was on a Tuesday, and if you do that, then you win the belt or whatever. All real. <laughs> all real. Yeah, they're all real. Uh, I looked at that piranha match, watched a couple seconds. This is real gnarly. This is some gnarly shit. You don't say it wasn't a gentle piranha match. Indeed, it was not. No, it was a, it was a pretty cutthroat. <laughs> who was legitimately using piranhas in this day and age? The Japanese. <laughs> That's who. And God bless them for this it. This is what happens when you take away a country's military. They get creative and scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> you think you got to get your aggression somehow. There's be, there are people that just want to kill. And you know what? You can either put them in a uniform or put them in spandex. Hey, hey some people want to rise up and some people just want to see the world burn. All right. Well, Tom has melted into uh, some sort of weird. <laughs> oh, no. Sure. Uh, this week, uh, you can catch me uh, headlining the Ontario Improv uh, Tuesday, July 11th at 8 p.m. Uh, check that out. That'll be a lot of fun. This weekend, I'll be back at Flappers Comedy Club in Burbank. And uh, that's about it. Oh, and uh, on the 18th uh, in Orange County, our beloved Orange County, I believe our second biggest podcast market. Shockingly, guys. I don't know how we ma- managed to get a foothold there. I'll be headlining a new comedy club, the, uh, the Rec Room in Huntington Beach, uh, California, at 8 p.m. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Great show with some fun comics on it. And I'll, uh, I'll be doing about a half hour of bullshit for you guys. So uh, July 14th, I will be at Mint on Card Comedy in Burbank, California. Uh, July 16th, I will be at the Nerdist Theater at Meltdown Comics on the Hard Times Live. Uh, and July 20 fucking shit on my dick. Uh, where'd it go? It was actually kind of... You have another comic book store show you want to plug? What's up? You have another comic book store show you want to plug? Do I? Yeah, I think you just did two in a row. 
Oh, oh yeah, I'm just I did. kidding. Anyway. Now, uh, July 28th, Friday, I will be at uh, the Westside Comedy Theater for Unnecessary Evil at 8, and then at the Comedy Store at 10 o'clock for The Hella Show. Ooh. Um, I, I, uh, I, my career is going so well, I didn't need to book shows this month, and, uh, <laughs> but I'll be at the Mean Boys Live shows, and, uh, and uh, he'll me. just be recovering from his horrible illness, uh, yeah. and his horrible friends. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, GosGos6, and listen to my podcast. Thanks. Yeah, check out Who Told You That, now doing yeah. some weekly updates. So you, but get, get those th- aren't on iTunes, so if you want to listen to those, you can go on SoundCloud. Eventually, they'll be on iTunes. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. I was just trying to cut it out. Fine. It doesn't really matter. I might as well just throw them up. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a, the Tom Goss through the Bill Burr podcast where he just tells you about what he did that week, and it's a pretty, pretty stupid. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's dumb. Yeah. Other than that, check out those Mean Boys live shows in San Diego and Fresno coming up. Uh, please help us out with the Patreon. Leave us a review on iTunes, all that shit, and uh, you support means the world. And we're excited to keep making bigger and dumber things with you guys. Fuck everything. God is irritated. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you? Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>